Okay, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create time lapse from your SJ4000 photos um, using Adobe Premiere. Okay, here are my still photos that I took earlier. These are three seconds interval photos, and I've noticed that the file naming convention was kinda odd and with this kind of naming Adobe Premiere get confused when we are trying to um, create a time lapse by sequence so I'm going to show you what I meant by that so let's go to um, Adobe Premiere so let's create a new project. Let's name this as time lapse vid. Okay. And then choose the um, 1080p 24 for the frame rate. So name this time lapse. Then click OK. Okay, now we are here in our. Um, Adobe Premiere so let's import those images so here are those images as you can see the naming is kind of off for me so let's create this sequence so let's choose click the first image and then check the image sequence box and then click open so here we can see that um, Adobe imported the um, the images in the sequence so we can see that it is only a fifteenth of a second which is we do not want to so this is what happened if our file naming convention was off or not properly arranged so with that this is uh, trash need to delete this so let's go back to our bridge so notice how the camera um name the first how many the one two three eighteen images the first 18 images follow the right sequence and then look as you can see it is 0440018 and then suddenly it became 0441019 instead of 0044008 so the problem is in here so well, we do have a solution for that. So, and by using the bridge, we can fix the problem. So, let's select all the images by Control A or Command A on Mac. And then go to Tools. And then click the, click the Batch Rename. So we are here in the batch rename panel so all you need to choose is this sequence uh, I mean the new file names the text and the sequence number it's up to you well you can check this um, plus signs to add more um, properties I don't know but for me I, I choose only two the text and the sequence number so sequence number so it's up to you and the naming of that mine I'm going to click sequence sequence batch zero and then start at maybe zero 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 four digits and click the four digits and then click the rename 
so here you can see that our images was properly named they are now arranged correctly so oh, I forgot before you're going to rename that you need to um, choose this sort by date created so um, you need to choose the sort by date created so you can um, sort the images that were shot first okay so by right now finish renaming it so let's go back to our um, Adobe Premiere so let's import again the those images let's cl click the first image and then go to image sequence then open whoa as you can see it is two seconds and 26 milliseconds whoa and earlier it's only 15 of seconds now it's um it's increasing that is good so here are images being processed so let's go to our sequence and let's drag this in here and then check and on keep existing settings so we are almost done this is just only a two seconds video because I'm going to add more of it and try to stitch them all so as you can see um, The, your final output will be different so you need to scale or check the video so let's go to motion and go to scale this 100% maybe you can choose this to um, um, 60% let's try there you go well it's good well this is a shot so let's play nice okay let's import another batch batch i think i have another uh-huh batch is there let's go to batch one Take this one, then the music ones, and then open. Okay. So here is our batch one. So let's drag it in there. Then change the scale to 60%. Mm -hmm. And then move this up let's try to move this up okay so let's try to play this Yeah, the the preview is kind of laggy, so I'm going to pause this after I'm done. So I think that's it. So so now you can add anything to it. You can add effects or whatever to improve your video. Um, 
Okay, I hope you gathered some information said, and thank you for watching.